Wisconsin have to decide whether to throw their current mayor out of office. NBC's John Yang is there. John, good morning. Morning, Matt. They are just four days away from making that decision here in Sheboygan. The trigger for this recall election are a series of events involving the mayor who's an acknowledged alcoholic that residents say have held up the city to national ridicule. Sheboygan, Wisconsin Mayor Bob Ryan says he wants to be known for his efforts to revitalize this city's economy. We have not been losing jobs since I've taken office. We're actually adding jobs in the city. Instead, Ryan's gained notoriety for a series of alcohol-related incidents dating back to this cell phone video from July 2009, just months after taking office. Last July, he admits, he went on a three-day bender once passing out in a tavern. Ryan makes no excuses and flatly acknowledges his problem. When I was drinking, I'm a binge drinker. You know, I can go for a week or two without having a drink, and, um, and uh, you know, but when I was drinking, I was drinking. He says he's been sober for six months now and that his drinking never interfered with his official duties, <laughs> but he's become a national punchline. Here is another one of those stupid men behaving badly stories. The mayor of Sheboygan, Wisconsin, a man named Bob Ryan, has apologized after he was caught on a cell phone. Last summer, city council detractors began efforts to throw him out of office. Then a citizens group gathered enough signatures to force next Tuesday's recall election in order to, in the group's words, preserve the integrity of the mayor's office. My uh, problems with alcohol have never, never interfered with my office. I've never missed a day of work. It's a town where every corner gets to the bars office though. intoxicated. It's a judgment voters are making. Mayor Ryan is an embarrassment to the city, but I think he's done a good job. There's worse things going on than somebody getting drunk. If it had happened just once, it may have been okay, but it happened repeatedly. The contest has drawn a crowded field of seven challengers. Yeah, there's Gene. Ryan yeah. defeated in 2009, a restaurant busboy and a musician. Perhaps the most unusual candidate is high school senior Asher Hyerman, who's just 18 years old. It will be the first time I will be voting. And you'll be on the ballot? Yes. So your first vote will be for yourself? Yep. <laughs> With eight names on the ballot, it increases the chances that none of them will get the 50% they need next Tuesday to win outright. In that case, there'll be a runoff in February. Matt? Hi, right, John Yang in Sheboygan this morning. John, thanks so much.